way. That's all right in a minute. Right, as you can all see in YouTube land, uh, JWB are having their annual burn up on the old straw bales. So uh, we've uh, more or less got a 40 metre fire break all round. Um, between us and the farm is close on to a 70, 80 metre fire break. So, and I've just uh, sprayed 2,000 litres of water all around it to give a safe area. Uh, the hedges are still all damp from the night so that's all okay and uh, the wind's favourable. What there is is very little and most of it's going straight up in the air. So as you can see we've got a good old fire break all around it and uh, just need to be very vigilant now and watch for any little sparks. We've got another uh, 6,000 litres of water over in the uh, sprayer bowser so that's sitting here just in case and uh, yeah we're just got to be very vigilant and uh, watch it now and whilst it's um, getting burned into itself okay get you again in a bit right there you go I'll put you on a tripod so you can watch for a little while but as you can see there isn't a lot to watch to be honest with you I think there's that much wet in these bales we had trouble getting them a lot of them here because uh, the string they're just busting all up so we couldn't have done anything with them this year because we just couldn't transport them, they were in such a mess. So uh, just a matter of now, I'll let it get on with it, do its own thing and uh, just watch it for a little while. So, we sprayed all round it which will only last a little while, more, more or less the initial burn but the bits of straw all round here are all damp but we're going to be watching it like a hawk all day, so uh, yeah, the smoke is more or less going straight up in the air. It's sort of uh, hardly a breath of wind, which is good, but any wind we are going to have is going to be south southwesterly, so um, that should keep it away from the farm. So uh, that's what we want, we don't want it blowing towards the farm. But another hour and it'll be burned into itself and uh, Settle down to just burn away for the next week. But it'll smoulder for about a week, I would imagine. It normally does. But well, smoulder longer than that. Yeah. But Jason's over here, he's just moved uh, moved the 90 deep out of the way. Just to be safe. We've just got all the equipment over there. Just um, so that we can just be uh, very vigilant of everything to make sure everything stays safe. Uh, there's a sprayer, we've been spraying with that, sort of spraying uh, any sort of uh, dodgy spots but the heat's getting up in the day now so any water you're putting down is more or less almost evaporating. It does cling to the, uh, the bits of straw laying around though. But we're going to have a, a fire marshal today to keep an eye on it. Um, I think we're going to nominate uh, Jofen for that because uh, Jack's got to go bailing at... Um, so, uh, about 12 o'clock, he's got eight acres of uh, haylage to do for a local farmer. We did, uh, what did we do yesterday? Close on to 100 acres of silage and baling and raking yesterday. So we had a really good day yesterday and no breakdowns. So it's amazing. Uh, but yeah, isn't the biggest fire we've ever had, but um, burned, but it's uh, okay. Uh, I think that's what happens when that falls down like that big lump just fell down it sort of wafts up a bit of stuff, a bit of uh, dust but there's no wind to carry it at the moment so it's a really good time of day to burn you've got to inform all the authorities as well um, you've got to inform uh, fire brigade there is a number um, that you can ring you've also got to have uh, um, a license as well um, you can apply for it to burn farm waste, old straw bales and uh, that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, we've, uh, we, we have one of them. I think it's with um, Bedsborough or, you know, the environmental, I don't know. We informed them all anyway. So yeah, so just uh, now just got to watch it burn down. And uh, 
we will have to push it up a little bit here and there but we'll, again we'll be very choosy when we're doing that and the loader will be washed down and any straw on it removed so and uh, we will push from upwind so um, you've got to do that basically to uh, burn all the straw up inside or else you end up with a load of straw laying on the floor and you go to spread it and it's full of straw so we'll do that and then we'll wet the ash down and we'll spread the ash on the ground as usual turn it into potash so, all good stuff. anybody that wanted it they could have had it but the trouble is you can't transport piles of crap no. the bales were knackered you just couldn't couldn't have loaded them on a lorry or a trailer and no so health and safety and all that stuff right there you go everybody that's this year's burn so we're going to cut it off there and uh, i'll upload this as soon as i can okay catch you later bye bye